welcome to your sixth Fancade scripting tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning about moving and rotating objects. So this tutorial is going to be a little bit different than the previous ones we've done because up until now, we've only been learning about numbers. But this time in this tutorial, we're going to be learning, uh, we're going to be introducing three new data types. And they are vectors, rotations and objects. Uh, now, these are all very different from numbers, and there's a lot more to them than numbers, uh, but I'm just going to be brief uh, about them in this tutorial, uh, because after all, it's, it's a beginner tutorial. So, I don't want to go too much into detail about this, uh, maybe in a future tutorial, but we'll see. Anyways, so, these blocks right here, you see down here, these are objects. These are considered objects. This is an object. Uh, anything, basically anything that isn't a script is an object. Um, so like this brick block right here is an object. So with scripts, you can actually change the position of these objects to wherever you like. So in order to do this, you need a specific block and it's called the set position block. It's a set position block. You can find it under the objects category and it looks like this. So as you can see, it has three different inputs. So the first input is the object you want to change the position of the one you, uh, the object you want to change the position or rotation of. Yep. Uh, the second input is the position you want to set that object to and the last input is the rotation that you want to set that object to. So let's say we want to change the position of this block right here once we hit the play button. So first of all we need to connect this wire to this block because this is the block we want to uh, change the position of. So in order to do this, all you have to do is uh, you have to drag uh, the wire and basically just connect it to the block. And, and that will create a little arrow pointing to the block. So you uh, can see that this pink wire is now connected to this block right here. Okay, so now we need a position that we want to set this object to. Uh, right now, if you put no position in here, I think it's just going to set it. Yeah, it's just it's not going to change anything at all. So this green wire is a vector. It's a, a vector uh, wire and vectors. This is a vector. OK, this is a vector. It looks like this. So you'll notice that a vector has three different values which you can change independently. And um, these represent, each of these numbers represent the X, the Y, and the Z uh, axes uh, or coordinates or what you want to call it in 3D space. Now, one thing to note, even though it may look like it, a vector isn't just a uh, position in 3D space. It's actually an arrow pointing from 0, 0, 0 to uh, the specified point. Now, this is important to know. Right now, it isn't that important, but it's important that you're aware of this because vectors are a lot more than just a, a position. But, well, for now, it isn't really important. But just be aware that vectors aren't just 3D positions. However, vectors are used to represent positions in 3D space. Okay, they aren't, uh, they aren't positions, they aren't positions themselves, but they represent positions in 3D space. Okay, enough talking. If we plug this in right now, right now this is set to 0, 0, 0. Okay, now you might be wondering which axes or which, uh, which is the x axis, which, which is the y, which is the z. Okay, so this arrow right here, this arrow you can see on the floor here, that is the X uh, dimension. Uh, the other arrow pointing that way, pointing to the left on the screen right now, is the Z uh, dimension. And up is the Y dimension. 
So right now it's set to zero, zero, zero. So if we hit play, you'll see that the block has actually sunk into the ground. Now that is because that point right there, that point where the block is now, the center of the object, uh, the center of that brick object is located at zero, zero, zero right now. Now, if we don't want this to be sunk in the ground, we can change the y, uh, the y axis or the y value of uh, this vector. So if we set it to 0.5, uh, the block will no longer be sunk into the ground. So right now, the position of this object is 0, 0 0.5, 0. So it's 0 0.5 in the y axis. Now we can also, if you change the first value to something like eight, it'll move that block eight, um, eight blocks pretty much in, in the uh, X axis. And you can also change the Z axis as well. So now it's over there and you can move this back a little. You can even go negative. So if you go like negative six in the X, axes it'll be uh, on the well it'll be on the other side if you know what I mean all right so that's a vector and that is used to uh, to set positions of objects uh, so you can move them around with scripts okay now you can also change the rotation of the object and this involves this uh, data type or this rotation block right here, which also has free values, but instead of a position, this is a rotation. So uh, the first value is the rotation in the x axis, the second value is the rotation in the y axis, and the last one is the rotation in the z axis. So let's say I wanted to rotate this uh, this brick block uh, 45 degrees in the y direction. So if we type in 45 here and hit play, you'll see that the, let's just uh, set this to zero, zero for now. Hold on, there we go. So we hit play, you'll see the, the, um, the brick has been rotated 45 degrees and it has been moved to 0, 0 0.50. All right, so that's how you rotate and move objects. However, there's a little bit more that I want to show you. If you go back in the objects category, uh, you can, as well as setting the position of objects, you can also get the position of objects. And this is also really useful. So this block, you can also use this to connect to, to that block right there. Uh, so this block is going to get the position of the object, uh, of the input object, and it'll uh, return the position and rotation of that object. And this allows for some pretty interesting, uh, pretty interesting stuff here. Uh, you know, when I said vectors, um, when, that vectors aren't just uh, 3D positions, they're in fact arrows, well, you can actually add vectors together with each other. You can add two vectors together. So this is how it works. So if I take the position of this object right here from this get position block, I take the position that this block uh, gets, or the position of this block, and then I add another vector uh, to that uh, position. So let's say I added something like 0 0.1 in the x axis, and then I plug it back into this set position block. Okay, so basically what's going to happen is it's going to get the position of this block, it's then going to add 0 0.1 in the x axis uh, to that vector, and then it's going to set that to uh, set that new vector or position uh, to that block. And this will result in the object kind of sliding to the side. So if I hit play, you'll see the the object starts moving forward just like that. And that's because we're continuously we're adding 0 0.1 in the, 
in the x-axis uh, each frame. So this allows for some pretty interesting uh, things. So now you just have a sliding brick. Um, you can also you can also do the same with rotations, but that is, that is a little bit more complicated, and I'm not really uh, I'm not going to teach you that today. Um, but yeah, so you can have some pretty funky blocks. You could also do it in the X and the Z axis, so now it moves di diagonally. You can also move it upwards. So if I just do this, so now it's going to move upwards. Now you don't have to do 0 0.1 each time. You could also do something like 0 0.05. And now it's going to move a little bit slower, just like that. And yeah. So what else can I teach you? You can add vectors, you can also subtract vectors with each other, and there's a lot you can do with vectors. I'm going to cover vector math in a later tutorial, but um, for now, I think I'm going to end this tutorial here. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.